Yo, I'm back again. And today we're doing a Zenit St. Petersburg player ratings, bruv. Shout out Dequan Razy. So, um, nickname the Blue White Sky Blues. Um, owner states loves the club. Um, apparently they were in the Champions League, they're, they're not in there anymore. Um, history, um, they've won the league. That's what matters, bruv. They won it once, twice, three times, four times, five, six. Yeah, um, they're, they're definitely a top team. They're predicted to finish first as well because they've just done a double winning season as well. So, um, yeah, let's get into the squad. All right, we're going from Mikhail Kesakov, brav, all the way to Sardar Azmoun. So, yeah, let's see. All right, see. so first we've all got right. Mikhail Kesakov, or whatever his name is, yeah, 33 backup goalkeeper, um, 14 reflexes, 12 one on ones, and 13 agility. Yeah, it's definitely a backup thing. Overall, he's not even a bad player, though. Um, it's just the three things that I look for, he's only got one. And to be fair, it probably is the most important one. But one, you have to play a deep line to accommodate him. And two, agility under average by one. But yeah, overall, just if it's backup, I'll allow it in it. Only backup, though. It's definitely not a longevity thing either. So you're going to you're gonna have to replace him within the next one or two years anyway. So yeah, uh, my like Mikhail Kazakov. Bro. All right, the goalkeeping thing is peak still. I can't even lie, bruv. Um, this guy, he's meant to be your first choice. He's gone for three to four months, bruv. So... Um, yeah, it's you're you're gonna have to actually sign a goalkeeper in it. Um, Andre Lunev, he's. I mean, if you did have him, I'm probably gonna make this guy the backup, bruv, because he's not even good enough himself, in my opinion. I mean, he's very good at reflexes. His one on ones, you're gonna have to play a deeper line because obviously he's under average by one, and his agility isn't that great, bruv. I mean, he's got very good anticipation and that, but overall, like I'm talking overall, he's not he's not really level still. So he's gonna turn into a backup for me, and I'm gonna sign a first choice. Cool man. Like, All right, next we've got. Vyacheslav Karavayev, bruv, flipping hell. Um, he's a wingback, defend, 13 technique, 11 vision and 13 passing. Um, I mean, he can play up from the back, but obviously, I think he's best at winning the ball. He's got 15 tackling, you're going to have to work on, I mean, not work on that, Um, focus on that, you get me. Um, But I look at the traits, he gets forward whenever possible. I mean, it's not like he can't get forward, though. Like, if you would like him to go forward, you could put him on, like, wing-back support or, or full-back, full-back support, actually. Yeah, that'll suit him better because the agility is a bit peak still. Um, but overall, he's still a very good left-back. I mean, right-back, bruv. Man, man can do a lot of things still. And he can play multiple positions as well. So, for, like, a standard right-back, man's doing his thing. He's he's good enough still, man. Like, um, Karavayev, bruv. All right, good next player. we've got Dejan Lovren. And my goodness me. Um, this is looking like one of the best centre backs that I've seen. Like in terms of that underrated, yeah, that, un that under the radar, he's one of the best ones that I've seen. Because let's look at it like this, yeah. Man's a ball playing defender. He can win. I mean, he can pass the ball very well. He's got a very very good first touch. He's composed. Anticipation. Now that's 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 the ball playing part. In terms of winning the ball, now man's got the seventeen strength. In the air, he can win it over pretty much anyone. He's six foot three, seventeen jump reach, and seventeen heading as well, and he's got seventeen tackling. And you're telling me someone like Liverpool let this guy go, bruv? Why? I mean, he might be better in the game than he is in real life, but if he's this good in the, in, in the game, he has to be decent in real life, bruv. Because he looks like one of, like I said before, one of the best centre backs that I've ever like rated, bruv. Because everything that you can need for a ball playing defender, man's got it still. So yeah, man, like Dejan Lovren, brilliant defender. Brilliant defender. All right, next All right, on next. loan we've got um Dmitry Chistiakov, Rev. Um, twenty six years of age, central defender. Um, impersonating a no nonsense as they all do. You you know how it is, Rev. Now, obviously his passing of the ball is just gone. Like he can't pass. He's twenty six. Um, physically eleven strength. Damn. Um, mentally kind of average. Mentally, let's be real. And he's just good at winning the ball. That's it. Like he's got good tackling, good marking, and in the air he's decent. That's it. All he's there for is to win the ball. All Simple. Right. Next, we've got all right, Yaroslav Rakitsky, bruv. Flipping all these names, man. It's getting them mad, bruv. Anyway, um, he's a ball-playing defender. 13 technique, 14 vision, but 15 passing. So, once again, someone that's very good like, at passing the ball. In terms of on the ball, I mean, 11 first touch, that's bouncing away. Um, like Comfortably bouncing away as well. I mean, side to side, peak as well. And he hasn't really got recovery speed, but he's 30. You can kind of understand it. In terms of strength, he's very good, um, very strong, and, and he can kind of win the ball. So, I can let ball play and defender run, and long shots 15. So, you never know. You know, like, when you're on the on, on the front foot, yeah, and you've got your centre-backs that are very high, man could bang one from far. 
like uncomfortably as well. So yeah, man, like um, Rakitsky, but a very good. De- I mean, good, good centre back, bruv. He's a good centre back. I mean, going forward, he's actually very good, bruv. Like I'm tempted if if let's say you're lacking like depth at left back, yeah, I would genuinely put this guy like a little wing back support or full back support. I would, bruv, because he's actually good going forward. Can't lie, man. Like um, Rakitsky, bruv, he's he's good still. All right, next we've All got right. Yuri Zerkov, um, sixteen technical ability. But 12 vision and 12 passing, so the pivot is not really good overall. It's just got one very good thing, which is the technique, bruv. Um, going forward, he claims fullback support. Um, very good cross on him, obviously, because he can't dribble. I can understand it, bruv. First touch, very good as well. Composure, mentally, overall, amazing. But obviously, physically, he's 36, and that's not even bad for a 36 year old, bruv. But I have to be real. Um, I'm thinking, in, in the. In, I'm, no, 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 let me be real, yeah. I don't think it's going to work like, for, for a long time. I think he'll give you like maximum one season. And then after that season, I think he's done still. So I think he's got one more season left in him. In him yeah, um, man, man like Zerkov, I'll give him the, the benefit of the doubt. Say he's got one more season because he's actually like, he's got ability still. Like I could, I can definitely tell back in the day, man was a good player. But obviously right now, this is his last, this is his last season still. It's his last one. Can't lie, man like Yuri Zerkov. I'm a 26 year old right. Douglas Santos, bruv. Um, in terms of, raw pace he's got 12 so he's not blisteringly fast but he's definitely moving side to side though um he's a fullback attack um very composed makes the right decisions as well 14 technique 13 vision 14 passing so he's very good at passing and distributing the ball he's got a very good first touch crossing amazing bruv going for this guy's different gravy I can't even lie, bruv. Going forward, he's he's amazing. I have to be real, he's amazing going forward, bruv. Um defensively, eleven marking, um what's his positioning? 13 tackling 13 he's he's decent defensively it's just not like his strength in it so make sure that he's going forward like i want to see this guy like in the opposition half a lot still i don't i don't really see him defending too much if i'm being honest man that like douglas santos bruv but overall very good left back though very good left back man all right next santos. we've got a 22 right, year old um daniel or daniel Krugov yoi what um yeah this guy um 13 technique, 13 vision, 12 passing. He's a wing back defend. His tackling is 12. Good going forward, 13 crossing, 13 finishing, um, pace 13, agility 14, acceleration 14, bruv. Overall, he can do a lot of things and he's this young. So, best believe this guy in the future, he's going to be amazing. I think I'll probably play him. I know you've got a lot of like older players, yeah, but I believe in longevity. And if he's one of your own, he looks like he's probably going to be a homegrown player. Yeah, I've, I'm I'm gonna use him. Like he's he's actually decent still. He's gonna go up in that pace. Crossing is gonna improve as well. He will have a very good um end. Pro- he's, he will have good end product as well. Um, wing back support. So you already know, bruv. Yeah, for me, the only thing really right now is the decisions. But that's going up anyway because he's only 22. Yeah. Um, I'm changing that playing time from fringe player to to starting, bruv. Like regular starter still. That's me personally, man. Like Daniel. Bruv. You get me? Good player. Bruv. All right, next we've got um 27-year-old Magomed Ozdoyev, bruv. Um, now, he's a box-to-box midfielder. Um, 14 technique, 13 vision, but 14 passes. So the pivot overall is actually good. Um, now, he claims box-to-box. The tackling and the passing are the same, so I'm definitely letting that run. And he's got the work rate as well, the bravery, all of that um, in the mentals to back it up, bruv. So he's got a bit of grit. Gives He's going to give you 100%. And he's got the technical ability to back it up as well. Now, um, obviously... He dictates tempo. He's claiming um, he can slightly play. Oh, I, I thought I was going to say deep plan playmaker. Never mind. But if you did want to put him deep plan playmaker, I don't really think it will work because he's got 10 composure. Um, he's got very good anticipation, but the composure's just not really there still. So, yeah, keep him as a box to box. He'll do a very good job there still. Keep him next to, if you can find a deep plan playmaker, he'll be perfect to partner him because a deep plan playmaker's not really moving, but he's got the legs. So, yeah, the work rate, the legs, all of that man, that like Magomov, or whatever his name is, he's he's doing a thing still. All right, next you've got um, right. Dale Kuzyaev, um, 27, 13, technique, 12, vision, 14, passing, good execution. He can bang it from far, what's the first touch? Lacking. Um, very concentrated. Um, teamwork, 16. Yeah, he's, he's he's a squad player, I can already tell. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys, he's probably going to consistently give you like five, sixes, sevens out of tens, bro. Like, you, you know what you're going to get with him. Just a lot of, um, wait, what, what can I even say? His work rate's not that great, neither is the determination or the aggression. So he doesn't even have the grit that I would expect him to have, bro. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a weird one. I think just throw him around. You see the way Man United just throw Pogba around, even though he's their best player, yeah? Just throw him around because you can see he can just play anywhere. 
let's just do the same thing, bruv, innit? Like, man, like, Dalla Kazyaev, bruv, man, I'll just put him, um, you know, like, Ainsley Maitland, and what's the word? Ar- um, Swiss Army Naf, that's the one, because man can just do a lot of things, man, I'll put him in multiple positions. Yeah, that's what I'll do to him, man, like, Dalla Kazyaev. All right, next Ooh. we've got Wilma right, we've- Barrios, um, natural DM, um, ball winning midfielder as well, so you already know what time it is, bruv, man, just here to win the ball. Can I call him a destroyer? Hell yeah, I can, bruv. Like, let me tell you why, bruv. Um, man's got the stamina, so even if he's not like winning the ball, at least he's giving it, giving it his all, bruv. He's got the work rate, giving it his all, determination, aggression, bravery. Don't fear no one, but the most high, bruv. Very good marking, tackling, sixteen, bruv. So in terms of winning the ball, man's there. He's just running around, kicking man's shin pads repeatedly, just trying to get that ball, bruv. That's all he's doing. That's his sole purpose. Because on the ball. 11 technical ability, madness, bro. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing on the ball still. Let's be real, bro. Um, first touch, 12. Yeah, he's not on the ball. He's not an on the ball kind of guy. He's an off the ball kind of guy, which is why he's off the ball's 10 and his position in his 16. Because he's off the... I mean, uh, it makes no sense, but... No, nah, no, nah, let, me, let, me, let me make it make sense, yeah. On the ball, he's work. Off the ball, he's better, bro. I, I get his off the ball is 10, but I mean, the positioning is probably the reason... The positioning is because he's staying in one position, bruv. You get me? Um, yeah, because he's not really wrong, but he can, he can. Now it's it's weird. I want him. I want him to run around and like win the ball off people, but I know um he has the ability to stay in the same position, not get caught out, bruv. That's what I'm trying to say, bruv. Flipping you know, man, man, like Wilma Barrios for what he has to do, he's, he's good at it. Though. I'll, I'll give him that, bruv. Man, man. All right. Um, before I was right. talking about a deep plan playmaker in a system, you know, where you have like a box to box, then you got a deep plan playmaker holding everything together. This is that deep plan playmaker. He's 22 as well, so he's got a bit of few. He's got a very big future. Um, good pivot as well. 15 technique, 14 vision, and 15 passing as well. First touch under average by one. Um, composure very good. Anticipation very good as well. So he's got the mentals, and he's got the technicals, bruv. Obviously, they're not really moving, but this guy is moving. Like they, they. That's a position that doesn't really move, but he's moving though, side to side. Especially he's balanced as well. Overall, he's actually a very good deep plan playmaker, bruv. And he's only 22, so. Yeah, um, for that system that I said, he'll be pivotal for that, bruv. Very good, bruv. Man, right, next them. we've got right. Alexi Sutomin. Um, right winger, straight line, right winger on support. What's his pivot? 11, technical ability, 12 vision and 12 passing. So that's already a struggle, bruv. That's a task for him. Um, crossing 11. Dribbling 9. What? Nah, nah, nah. That can't run, bruv. He's, he's, he's awful. He's awful, bruv. Like, what's the decision to tell? Yeah, listen, all he can do is run in a straight line, not even side to side, in a straight line and, and attempt to finish the ball. That's it, bruv. That's it. He's whack. And he's got 13 tackling as well. What is this? A right back? What? Is he a right wing? Is he a right back? What is he, bruv? He's whack, bruv. Like, he's, he's rubbish still, yeah. Get me All off. right, Nick, he's right, got... Nick. And then, oh, it's very unfortunate, man. Man's gone for three to four months. That's peak still, man. Feel bad because obviously he's only 24, so he's just escaped Youth Academy. You can see that he's learned something in there. Like, he's learned how to control the ball, pass the ball. Like, he's got a decent finish on him as well. Movement's still good as well. Um, Good off the ball. So, he's, he's he's a player right here. But, unfortunately, one of their better players is gone for that top, for that for that long time. He's gone, innit? But, yeah. um, Overall, literally what I just said, bruv. Like, man, man can control the ball. Man, okay, for a winger, the dribbling is under average by one, to be fair. But, you can kind of get away with that and play him inside forward if you can't really dribble that much. But, yeah. um, Overall, though... um. He's, he's still another very good player, bruv. Man, like, um, Sebastian Durius, he's someone that I can actually say has learned something in the youth academy, you get me? So, yeah, um, good player, bruv. All right, next you've All got right, Malcolm, um, ex-Barcelona man, um, inverted winger on attack. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I mean, is that because of his long shots? Because that's the only reason why. He's got 12 finishing, 11 composure. Nah, um, it's probably going to have to be on support still. Um, reason why, let me tell you why. Quickly... In terms of movement, he's electric, bruv. Like, man's got that pace in it. Um, very fast, bruv. Um, good dribbling, like, the way he's picking up the ball, driving the ball stuck to his foot. There's not a thing a defender can do, especially in this league. He's going to be terrorising them. Like, he's going to be at- absolutely, like, moving mad on these defenders, bruv. He's going gonna, he's gonna to be taking a piss, he will. Very good flair, so they don't know if he's going left or, or if he's going right, bruv. It's mad still. First touch, 15. Fam, yeah, he, he's he's got ability still. And... The thing that separates this guy is that he's got a very good passing. His pivot is 16, technique, 50 vision and 14 passing. So he's very good at passing the ball. That's why I question him being on attack because he probably is better on support because he's got a very good passing him. So yeah, um, I think you could, put him, you could put him on attack, don't get it wrong, but personally I'll put him on support. And the only reason why you could put him on attack is because of his long shots, bruv. Just let him cut inside and bang it from far. 
or um, cut inside pass, bruv. His head up is 13. Well, I call it decisions. Well, decisions head up, same thing, bruv. Um, yeah, his his decisions are 13. He can he can do, he's got the ability still. I, I have faith in this guy. Man like Malcolm, good player. Right. Next, he's got a 22-year-old right. Andre Mostovoy. Um, inverted winger on support. Um, he's got good pace. Um, dribbling is under average by one. I get he's 22, still under average though. Um, pivot, you can't really see what he's doing. He's got good technical ability and passing. Um, first touch, 12. He's looking like a just average winger. Nothing really special about this guy, man. Um, I mean, he's got very good flair. It's just his dribbling. Maybe if you were to improve the dribbling, then like I, I can know that he would be good on the ball. But I know right now it's it's a bit... It's a bit um fifty fifty for me. Can't lie, man. He's he's just an average player for me. Can't lie. Um, I get he's only twenty two, but I'm talking in the future now. He's looking like he's going to be like an average player still. Yeah, man. Like Andre must. All right, next you've got right, Alexander Yerokin. Um, this guy is thirty. He is a centre mid or cam, and he can he's six foot five. Flipping now, what's his pivot? Yeah. Um, so he's twelve, twelve, twelve on the pivot, and he's got twelve strength. So he's not even a physical threat. He's just jumping all over the place, bruv. Yeah, he chose the wrong sport. You know how there's a coach for basketball, there's a coach for athletics, there's a coach for football. Like, I see bare 100 meter sprinters playing on the wings, yeah? And I see bare basketballers playing like this, bruv. That, this guy's a basketballer, bruv. He, he ain't no footballer, bruv. His technical ability is 12, bruv. Come on, man. I mean, he's going to take your tactics in well to do what with them, though. Like, he's got very good off the ball, which is surprising. So, is he doing a little Thomas Muller thing where he's just mentally a beast, but. Like, I have to question his technical ability somehow. Yeah. Um, my, my, like Alexander Yerikin, he's, he's a weird player, man. I, I don't know because I look at someone like Thomas Suchek, yeah, who's very big as well. is And he's very effective because he can finish. He gets a lot of goals, bruv. Is he the same thing? Because if he is, I can understand it. If he's not, I can't understand it, bruv. Yeah, man, like Alexander Yerikin. All right. Um, next, All right. we've got a 31-year-old Artem Dzuba. Um, target man on support. Um, He's got a decent pivot for a striker now. Decent first touch as well, considering that he's six foot five, bruv. Obviously, the agility, the acceleration, I'm not expecting nothing. He's got decent pace, though. Um, now, I, I came to like a conclusion yesterday that a lot of target men that can't pass the ball, the reason why they're target men on support still is because of their physical ability. Um, if he's backing into opponent, if you see that and he can't pass the ball, usually you would think that he's turning around to link play when really he's just distracting the opposition with his strength, bruv. That's all he's doing, yeah. Um, so I've 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 learned that now. So now I can actually understand these men a bit more, a bit better in it. Um, Seventeen jump and reach. So if you do lump it up to him, he's scoring goals. However, he can still get onto the end of the low crosses as well because he's got fourteen composure and fourteen finishing. So firm um, decision sixteen. Oh, he's actually a very good strike. I can't lie, he's a very good tar target man. Isn't it? Like you can put him target man support, target man attack, bruv. And and he's still. He's still balling. He is, yeah. Um, good footballer, man. Artem Dzio, but he's, he's he's a good footballer still. Respect, man. Respect, respect. respect. Yeah, so if you do <laughs> yeah, play so a two striker you formation, you can get um the Dzuba guy to um hold off, man. Then like head it on or something to to Asmun, and and Asmun's getting in behind still. He likes to be off side offside trap as well, so he's getting in behind. He's got good finishing, not really composed though, so he's probably too fast that for him to handle himself in it. Makes the right decisions. He's got a very good first rush as well, and he can kind of, kind of. I mean, can't really see what he's doing, but yeah, um, good off the ball, very good technical ability. Overall, another good striker, a man like Sada Asmun. Um, obviously, can you put him out wide if you're lacking depth? You can, but probably as an inside forward in it. Yeah. Um, overall though, man like Sada Asmun, he's another good striker. I know in that system he'll do very well still. Yeah, man, man, like, um, as Moon. All right, so that is a decent team, man. Like, isn't it St. Petersburg, bro? You got, um, I can remember from the top of my head, you got like one or two good young players there. Um, they're not really someone that I'll come for gems, can't lie. There's not really a lot of gems here. They're all a lot more experienced, bro. So if you are like looking for instant success in terms of like winning an instant title, just come to these men. Like, if you want a quick little Russian title, come to these men for a season. You're more likely going to win it in your first season. Let's be real. Um, they've got good players there. Like, I've seen that Zuba guy is banging in goals in it. Yeah. Um, overall, their their history is good as well. So, um, and ending on this page here, still can't lie. I'm not. I'm not going to line them up, but they're a good team overall, though. So yeah. Um, that is in at Saint Petersburg. So yeah, you man, shout out um D Kwan Razy, my G, bro, flipping hilarious channel hilarious channel bro you need to check that out fam i swear but yeah um shout out um d kwan and you man if you like the video like the video subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me and i'll see you in my next episode bro